learned many things about butterflies. Butterflies are very cool. They can fly far. They have four wings. Butterflies are awesome. We learned about clouds. Clouds are in the sky. We could make a cloud inside. Clouds move fast. You could walk through a cloud. I am an insect. Which one am I? My color and shapes blend with my surroundings. I want you to look very closely. I might be hard to find. I see enemies and shape. When I sense danger, I am a thorn bug. I am an insect. Which one am I? I pretend to be a shape of a plant. I feel the rough texture, the branches surround me. I keep still and move very slowly. I am one of the biggest insects in the world. I am a walking stick. I flutter and hide in the flowers. I wonder what a flower smells like. I am a gentle and harmless, but when time comes, I will need to use my legs that look like knives to catch my prey. I am a prey mantis. We are insects. We want you to look very closely, or we might be hard to find. Magnets are very interesting objects. Magnets can come in different shapes and sizes. Magnets have two poles, north which is red and south which is blue. The two south poles repel each other. This means they push away from each other. This also happens when north and north comes together. South and North Pole attract each other. That means they pull together. Magnets are not attracted to every type of metal. Magnets are attracted to iron and steel. Today we're doing an experiment. We're taking air out of the marshmallow and putting it back in. Our, our, our hypothesis are that the um, marshmallows will get bigger and smaller. But they be delicious. When we strength pump air into the marshmallows, the marshmallows grew. When she took the air out, the marshmallows shrank. We learned how the amount of air changed how big the marshmallow is. And if you were wondering, the marshmallows were delicious. What is photosynthesis? Photosynthesis is a process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize food from water, from water and carbon dioxide. Plants make food by their leaves. Also, chlorophyll can make food. The plant can use from carbon dioxide, water, nutrients, and energy from sunlight. Plants also give us humans oxygen to breathe. It, it also gives us food and it helps the animals. There are many things plants need to grow, such as water, nutrients, air, light. Plants also use this water to grow in its roots to get more bigger and help it form into a tree. 
We like how plants produce us oxygen, food, also it makes the earth green. Favorite shape is the cube. Favorite shape is the gold. What is your favorite shape? Snow leopards are very interesting animals. Snow leopards are mammals. Leopards have wet on them and have big feet. Snow leopards can camouflage by hiding in the snow. Morning, everyone. Welcome to Station Four, which is out of this world. Today we are in our main station on Earth, which is one of eight planets in the solar system. But we have a few reporters on the other planets. Let's check out what they are up to. Good morning. I'm here on Mercury, which is the closest planet to the sun, and it is hot out here. Here, it's almost 800 degrees. I heard that. Saturn is pretty cold. What's happening over there? Hey there, I am here on Saturn, which is about minus 292 degrees. It's cold, but the beautiful rings make the chills worth it. This planet is a bit gassy, although Jupiter is a big old ball of gas. Jupiter is a very large ball of gas. It is actually the largest planet in the solar system. This planet is so huge that it has 60 moons. Wow, 60 moons? That's a ton. Earth only has one moon. Well, that is it for Station 4. We will see you in another galaxy. Miss Darnay class, go to Warren School. Did you know that worms are very important to the health of the planet? When worms eat and decompose, their food turns into worm compost, which is a great source of nutrients for plants. To create worm compost for your garden, make a bedding for the worm using soil, water, coffee grounds, and filters, and eggshells for the food. And the worms class we're going to be working on severe weather and we're going to be researching different types of weather so that we can write an essay. How does she know that's my favorite dessert? Max! Max, are you paying attention? Yes, uh, let's get to researching. Do you know what a blizzard is? A blizzard is a long-lasting snowstorm with strong wind and heavy snow. Blizzards can be dangerous if you aren't ready. First, we will get our house prepared. For example, get your groceries before the storm. Next, we will need to stay warm. Another example, we need to get blankets, warm clothes, and a backup heater. Last, stay inside because it's cold and dangerous. Last example, if you have to go outside, bring your cell phone, fill up your gas tank, and tell someone where you are going. In conclusion, Blizzards can be dangerous, but if you are prepared, you will survive. Watch for the blizzard storm warning so you can be ready. Oh, I guess she was talking about the snowstorm, not a dessert. Darn.